So in this video we're going to concentrate on scanning the adrenal glands and specifically we're going to start with the left adrenal gland. The reason I say starting with the left adrenal gland is because it's a little bit easier to find the left adrenal gland than the right adrenal gland. The adrenal glands are uh, intimately associated with the kidney and as you'll all remember the left kidney is a little bit further caudal than the right kidney as is consequently the left adrenal gland. Just makes it slightly easier uh, to find. It's also worth bearing in mind that these are, are, are quite small structures uh, with a similar-ish echogenicity to, to the surrounding tissues and it can actually be reasonably tricky to find them depending on the dog's body condition and your or experience and, and the quality of the imaging equipment you're using. And in fact it wouldn't be uncommon for, uncommon for people to have uh, got an image of an adrenal gland onto the screen and simply not recognise that that's what they've got. So to give yourself the best opportunity it's worth making a, 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 an effort to learn the, the uh, anatomical landmarks because they'll give you a really good idea of where to look for the adrenal gland itself. So to scan the, the left adrenal gland, we're going to start where we would again for the, the left kidney. Uh, and, and if you're not happy with scanning the left kidney, then please do take a look at our earlier video on, on technique for scanning the kidneys. What we're going to do then is with the probe um, in a longitudinal plane and stood ver fairly well vertically upright, so we're scanning from above down towards the table, we're just going to locate the left kidney. A little bit of fanning brings, brings that left kidney uh, into the image. What we're then going to do is fan up dorsally, away from us, off the dorsal border of the left kidney. Once the kidney's disappeared from the image, we're then going to fan back down, keeping a close eye on the screen as we go. And what we're looking for is a vessel appearing in, this, in the image, as you can see, it's just coming in and out of the image there, which is uh, originating off the aorta. You can see the aorta pulsing there and starting caudally from the kidney and then doing a 180 degree uh, sort of loop, if you like, and heading cranially towards the kidney. That's our aorta and renal artery coming off it. And what we're going to do then, once we've located that vessel, is look in the region between the two. So in, almost in the crook, if you like, formed by the aorta and the renal artery. And from here, tiny fanning movements up and down should enable us to find, just appearing in the screen there, if I pause it there, we'll see a peanut-shaped hypoechoic region, approximately five millimetres or so in diameter across the, the sort of narrow plane there, and several centimetres long. Uh, obviously depending on the dog size. And just fanning up and down ever so slightly, we can optimise the view for that structure and then if I freeze it there, we can see that we've got a clearly peanut shaped thing uh, lying in the region that would be formed between the, uh, the aorta and the renal artery. You can almost make out, if we just look here on the screen uh, closely, we can, what appears to be um, another vessel crossing the middle of that gland. That, you may see that, you may not, depending on, on your experience, on the dog's body condition and on the equipment you're using. But where you do see it, that's another indicator that you're looking in the right place. And that's the phrenico-abdominal vein as it cross, crosses the middle of the body of the adrenal gland there on the ventral border. Again, depending on quality of equipment and your experience and, and, and the animal's condition, you may also be able to make out uh, an obvious differentiation between the cortex and the medulla of the adrenal gland. And again, just gives you some more information that we're looking at the right, at the right gland there. So just to repeat that one more time, we're going to start with the probe in longitudinal plane, just caudal to the ribs, find the left kidney. Once we've got the left kidney centered on the image, we're going to fan our probe dorsally up off the kidney, and then we're going to fan very slowly back down towards ourselves until we see there that renal artery you can see pulsing away, coming off the aorta, and uh, starting uh, originating caudally and heading cranially back towards the kidney. And from there, we're going to make tiny fanning adjustments to bring into view that peanut shaped structure. Sometimes you'll find you don't get the best view of it. And if you just apply a little more pressure to the probe, there you can see that's just improved our image or, or our, our picture quality on the screen of that gland. And there we can, if I pause that, we can quite clearly see that uh, vessel coming in from the, or across the midline of the gland um, and there, there appears to be a, a demarcation between the cortical and the medullary regions as well.